Hello viewers, hope you're doing well. Today in this video, we will build a new navbar for the logged in user. You can see the navbar with the sign up and the login. It's showing the logged in and not logged in users. So let me log in as the admin. The same navbar showing to the logged in admin. If I'm logging here, customer. And you can see navbar has not changed. So we need to show a different navbar when the user logged in. So let's start the functionality. So let's go to our TS and here I'm going to initialize a variable. And it will be a type of a boolean. And here we need to store for its service dot is customer logged in. And here I'm going to initialize a variable that is a is admin logged in a type of a boolean and it will store store is service dot is admin logged in. So here I'm going to add ng on init lifecycle hook. So after that, I'm going to add a constructor and here I'm going to inject our router. So here we need to call this dot router dot events dot subscribe. It will be an event arrow. And here we need to check that is a event dot event dot constructor name equal is equals to navigation and Then we need to call here this dot is admin logged in is equals to storage service dot is admin logged in. And after that, we need to call here this dot is customer logged in is equals to storage service dot is customer logged in. And it will be an event. Let's fix this. It will be a constructor. So let me update the name. And you can see error removed. So let's go to our app component.html and here I'm going to copy this navbar and add after that so for now i'm going to add here the title of this navbar that is a logged in admin for the logged in admin we need to show the two buttons first one is a dashboard and the second one is a logout so let me remove this router link from the logout button and on this dashboard i'm going to add the url of the admin dashboard so here you can see the div for the admin number. So here I'm going to add static ng if and here we need to give the variable name that is a is admin logged in. So let me copy from there and paste here. Let's save this and on this navbar I'm going to add static ng if. And here I'm going to add not and the variable name over here because we need to show this navbar only when the user is not logged in. If the admin is logged in, then we need to show this one. So on this navbar, I'm going to add this variable name that is a is customer logged in. When the customer is logged in, then we need to show this navbar. So let me update the title like logged in customer. And here I'm going to add in the URL that is a slash customer slash dashboard log out. And here we need to call method from our storage service. So let's go to our storage service. And here I'm going to create a method that is a static logout and it will be a return type void. And here we need to remove item from the local storage. So it will be a window dot local storage dot remove item. First one we need to remove here the token. And the second we need to remove here window dot local storage dot remove item that is a user object let me pass here the key that is a user let's save this let's call this method from our app component.ts so here we need to call our storage service and the method that is a logout and after that we need to navigate the user to the login component so here we need to call this dot router dot navigate by url and in the course we need to add the url of our login component so it will be a slash login. So we need to invoke this method on the click of the logo button. So let's go to our app component.html and here you can see the logo button for the logged in admin. Here I'm going to add click event and we need to invoke this method that is a log out. So let's copy this and we also need to call this method on the click of this logo button in the customer logged in navbar. So let's save this, go to our UI and you can see if I'm clicking on the logo button, it's navigating us to our login component. Let me open the inspect and go to our application. And you can see the local storage, it's empty. 
let's click on this login and you can see it's navigating us to the customer dashboard and you can see the nav bar for the logged in customer if i'm clicking on this logout button and you can see it's navigating as to the login component and the logo storage cleared let's login back the admin and you can see the login nav bar for the admin let's click on this logout and you can see it's working fine all right after that i'm going to create a reactive form for post car so let's get started you can see the admin module in the components i'm going to open a new integrated terminal and here i'm going to create a new component so the component name is a post car so the command is ng g for generate c for component and name of the component that is a post car and you can see component created successfully let me and you can see the component that is a post car so first of all we need to register this component into our admin routing module.ps so here i'm going to register so the path we need to add here that is a car and here we need to load the component that is a so let me log in the admin and here i'm going to add the url of the postcard component and you can see postcard component works so we need to add here the new button into the logged in admin navbar so let's go to our app component.html and you can see the nav bar for the admin. So let me copy this button and add after that. So the name of the button is post car. And we need to load a component. So in the router link, I'm going to add our post car component URL. So it will be a slash admin slash car. Let's save this, go to our UI and you can see button added into our postcard component let's go to our dashboard component and after that i'm clicking on this postcard component and you can see it's navigating us to postcard component so let's go to our angular project and here in the postcard component.html i'm going to add a code for the html because we need to create a reactive form post the car so you can see the html code where we have a main div and another div we have a form tag with a few inputs first one is a image input and the second one is a drop down for the list of brands and you can see the input for the name and you can see the input for the drop down of the types and you can see the drop down of the transmission here is the drop down for the colors and you can see the year picker input and you can see the input for the price and you can see the input for the description and you can see the button that is the post card so after that i'm going to add a code for the scss let's go to our scss file so you can see the scss properties so let's go to our html and here we need to import this is spinning into our postcard component.ts so let me add here is spinning and it will be a type of a boolean and by default it's false and you can see we have a method that is a event on change and here i'm going to copy this method that is a on file selected let's go to our ts and here i'm going to create a method now let's go to our ui and let's check so here you can see the error that is a ng spin i have added already so we need to import this file into our admin module.ts so let's go to our admin module dot ts and here i'm going to import this file that is a ng0 import module let's go to our ui and you can see let me declare this variable into our yes and it's by default null and the image preview let me copy this is a type of a string array buffer over here and this selected file is a type of a file let me add here file and it's by default null and you can see the error for the ng select we need to import this so we need to import this module so let's go to our browser and here i'm going to search ng0 and we select me open this let's copy this import and go to our ng0 import module and here i'm going to add this with a name and add into the exports so after that let me refresh the component and here you can see there are for the list of brands list of types list of transmission list of color and you can see the error for the ng year picker so we need to import this so let's go to our ng0 import module.ts and here i'm going to add this that is ng 
time picker module let me add the name into the exports and you can see our ng year picker registered into our angular project successfully let's fix these errors so here i'm going to hard code some values so you can see the array for the list of brands and you can see the array for the list of type and you can see the array for the list of a color and the list of a transmission where we have a values you can see here i've added here all the brands into the array and you can see the types that is a petrol hybrid diesel and you can see the color and you can see the transmission that is a manual and the automatic so let's go to our html and you can see the input for the brand where we have a drop down where we are showing all the brands into the drop down because i have added here the for loop where we are getting the brands one by one from the list of brands and after that you can see here the input for the list of type where we are showing all the types into the drop down and you can see the list of a transmission and you can see the list of a color where we are showing all the colors into the drop down and you can see the input for the model year so let's go to our ui and let me refresh the component and you can see the form for the post car right now it's static so you can see the drop down for the brand name and you can see the values that we have hard coded and you can see the drop down for the type transmission and the color and you can see the input for the model year price and the description so let's make this form reactive because we need to get all the values from the form here on this method i'm going to add the type of the event that is a type of any so after that i'm going to call here this dot selected file and here we need to assign that is a event dot target dot files and it will be a and after that we need to call here a method that is a review image let's create this method after that in this method i'm going to initialize here a variable that is a const reader over here and it will be a type of a new file reader there we need to call reader dot on load let me add here the arrow function so here we need to call this dot image preview request to reader dot result and after that we need to add here reader dot read as that the url and in the argument we need to pass here this dot selected file so let's fix this issue let me remove the dollar sign okay so after that i'm going to initialize here a variable that is a post post car form and it will be a from form group after that i'm going to add here a constructor where we will inject our form builder so it will be a private fp from the form builder after that i'm going to add here ng on init lifecycle hook where we will initialize our reactive form so here we need to perform request to restart fp.group and here we need to declare all the inputs that we need to get from the static form so the first one is a name and it's by default null and it will be a validators dot required the second we need to get that is a brand type color transmission price description so after that we need to bind our html form with the ts so let me copy this variable name that is a post card form let's go to our post card component dot html and you can see the tag that is a form so here i'm going to select the property that is a form group so here we need to add the variable name that is the post card form right now i think it's not working because we need to register the reactive form module into the admin module.ts so here i'm going to add import that is a reactive form module and the forms module so let me copy the name and add into the imports okay so after that we need to bind all the inputs with our ts so here you can see the input for the brand so here on the ng select tag i'm going to use here form control name in this we need to add the variable name that we have declared in our ts that is a brand and this input for the name so on the input tag here i'm going to add form control name and the variable name that is a name and you can see the input for the type add here form control name and it will be a type and let me copy this let's go to our this input that is a transmission 
so we need to add here transmission and you can see the input for the color color and you can see the input for the ear picker so here i'm going to add home control name and it will be a year and you can see the input for the price so here i'm going to add form control name and here we need to add the variable name that is the price and you can see the input for the description on the text area tag i'm going to add form control name where we have a variable name that is a description let's save this let's go to our ts and here i'm going to create a method that is a post car on this for now i'm going to add here the console.log to print the values of our form so it will be at this dot post car form dot value and we need to invoke this method on the click of the button so let's go to our button and here i'm going to add a click event will be a in the banana brackets and here we need to invoke this method that is a post car so let's go to our ui so let's add here the details like brand name bmw and the let's click on this post car and you can see we are getting the data into our console where we have a brand color description name price transmission and the type and on this method we need to create here the object where we need to store the image and the remaining details that you can see in the console so we need to add these details and the image into the object and we need to pass the whole object to the backend to post the car so here on this method i am going to add the code and you can see the object that is a form data that is a type of a form data so here you can see the input for the image and i have added here this dot selected file and here you can see the remaining inputs that is a brand name type color year transmission description and the price so let me copy this relative form variable name that is a post car and let me add on this You can see the statement that is at this dot post car form dot get dot brand dot value because we are getting the value of the brand from the adjective form it will be the same for all the inputs we just need to pass here the variable name of the specific input now we are getting all the inputs and we are also getting the image into this variable that is img we just need to pass this form data object to our backend to post the car and save the details into the database so that's all for now from my side i hope you like this video in the next video we will create an api to post car in spring boot and angular i will attach the playlist link in the description you can check it out and also subscribe to my channel for more videos and hit the bell icon thanks for watching take care bye